Not all of the news you see on Facebook is true, but that does not stop it from being shared every day. Jamie Tucker takes a closer look at fake news on Facebook and what you can do about it. When you hear someone say, well, I saw on Facebook, oh, be skeptical, especially if they're talking about news stories. And with the election just a couple of weeks away, sharing fake news on social media is getting more common. We all have friends who share a lot of political posts, not just their opinions, but so-called news stories, praising their candidate or shaming the other. University professor Hani Farid has a suggestion. Get off of social media. Just really, I mean, no kidding. The studies are in. The study shows social media is bad for our mental health and polarizing political posts makes us angry, hurt, and it affects relationships. If you want to be on social media to talk to your friends and family, fantastic. Stop getting your news from social media. That is not what it was designed for. Before sharing a post, check to see where it originated. Was it a reputable news organization or one that deliberately produces fake news and clickbait? If you want to avoid seeing anything political, you can try a couple of things. Go to settings, profile and tagging, and enter a few keywords you want to block. Now, this doesn't keep you from seeing them in public posts, but no one can post them in your comments. And if a friend constantly riles you up with their posts, snooze them for 30 days. Or you can unfollow them. You won't see their posts unless you go looking for them. Unfortunately, Facebook doesn't have a tool to block certain keywords from appearing in your news feed. But if you are feeling worse every time you get on social media, it might not be a bad idea to take a break, at least until after the election. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.